Beethoven, Bach, Mozart and Handel may well have been the world's most gifted composers, but if you took the first letter of their names and tried to form a group name out of them, the best you could come up with would be Hubrum. <laughs> Certainly not as catchy as Abba, which must be part of the reason why our next challenger truly believes those Swedish songsters are up there with the best of them when it comes to composition. 23-year-old Philip Howenstein received a music degree two years ago from Trinity College, Cambridge. His thesis was on the compositional method of ABBA, which is why he says he can recognise any song written by the band from one bar of the sheet music. One bar chosen at random from anywhere in the song. And tonight, Philip will attempt to identify five songs chosen at random from a list of 75. This, yes, quite. This is Normsky's uh, challenge. Normsky, why are you backing, Phil? Well, you know, when you meet a guy who sings an F for a C, you know, and you think he can't sing, but he has got a degree, and the guy's got a Stein at the end of his name, like yeah. Stein, Steen, <laughs> Normsky, <laughs> Personally, I mean, you've got to give him props, and to be into ABBA, he must know. I mean, he must know. Absolutely. Yeah. So I've got to back him. Fair enough, Chrissy. Yes, Button. Thank you. Wendy, well, what do you think? Um, Don't go mad now, Wendy. Speaking of one who is uh, tone deaf and knows absolutely nothing about music, somebody's got to know about music, so I'll go for yes. I don't know, Wendy, after the hits you've had as well. <laughs> 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 That's another story. Ben. Well, the guy's got a uh, professional qualification, he's got a degree, and uh, I'm going to go yes as well. That's good enough for me. Go for the professional side. Vinny? Yeah, I think it sounds good. If he owns up to liking ABBA, he must be able to make <laughs> 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 yeah. that sound. Fair enough, thank you. <laughs> Four yeses, let's see if the audience agree with you. Place your bets now, please. I'm not sure if it's a question of whether you like ABBA or not. I think they're great. I shouldn't have said that really, should I? Okay, 67 say yes and 33 say no. So let's meet Philip Howenstein! <laughs> this obsession start? Because it is an obsession, isn't it? It is. Well, I was younger than you when it started, so it uh, must have been a long time ago. Maybe. Oh, that wouldn't be difficult, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was a compliment. Ah, oh, thank you very much. So, uh, since Cambridge, I know that since Cambridge, right. you've got a place at uh, Oxford oh, yeah. University now. Oh, that? Yeah, I've got a place to do a doctorate, but no cash. What are you actually doing now? I'm practicing the piano and working hard and composing as well. And not only that, of course, you're writing a book. I am, yeah. Called The Art of Pop, From A to B and Back Again. You must be the world's foremost authority on ABBA. The world's only, yeah. Authority. The world's only authority. Because the, the ABBA thesis was only a small part of your degree at Cambridge, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. But you do know a great deal about it. We're going to put that to the test right now. Now, before I pick somebody from the audience to pick the bars of music for you, I'm going to leave you up here and blindfold you. And give you some music to listen to because I don't want you to know anything about what bars of music we are choosing. So sit yourself down, pop that on for me, I'm going to give you some music to listen to. Right, can't see a thing now, Not a thing. comfortable, pop that on, there we are, and you can listen to the planet suite of oh, Lolly. While I choose <laughs> something from our audience to pick out the songs from random. And don't forget, there are five songs to be chosen from 75. Now then! Ha ha ha! Victim! Oh! <laughs> lovely. Yes, sir. What's your name? Rob. Rob, where are you from? Barnes. Barnes, lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob from Barnes. <laughs> Splendid. Rob, you an Abba fan? Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> now, it's fashionable to say that you like Abba now, isn't it? So, uh, will you pick any five from here? And, actually, what, I, what I'd like you to do is just point to the one you want, and I'll pick it up. Don't mention any numbers or anything, and I'll pick it out, okay? Any from the 75. Right, that one. Obviously, you recognise that instantly. <laughs> what else do I have? Just another thought, that one will do, lovely. That's your second one. 
What have we got for a third choice? We're spoiled for choice here, aren't we? And they all look so different too, don't they? What else you got? Right, that's your fourth and one final one, Rob. That's one. Okay, fine. Lovely, ladies and gentlemen, Rob from Bath. Now, let's retrieve our challenger. It's a pity to disturb him, doesn't it? He seems to be having such a good time. I'm sorry to spoil this for you. Let me take that off. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yep. Splendid. Join me for the execution. Here we go. Right. You just sit yourself down here, make yourself comfortable, while in I introduce our resident pianist, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jimmy Nixon. Okay. Are you ready to face your challenge? Oh, yeah. Here we go for the first one. Take a look at this bar of music. And what does that suggest to you? That's one man, one woman. You say that's one man, one woman? Yep. Could you play that bar of music for us? Well, you'd know it anywhere, wouldn't you, really? Good <laughs> morning, <laughs> thank you. It is one man, one woman. Okay, number two coming up. There's number two. Hasta mañana. You're very positive about yep, that. Yep, very positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell that just by looking at it. I think so, yeah. Okay, let's so. see if we can tell from the rest of the music. Jimmy, thank you. Look, well, that's easy. You've got a long note at the end there. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see if you like, Jimmy. Play the bar of music. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Let's see if it is. Jimmy, thank you. Most unnatural, I'd say. <laughs> Here's your fourth one. <laughs> What's that dead tadpole in the middle of it? Yeah, there are no notes on that, Matthew. No, right. No. Um, look, if you want to pass, you want to go on the last one and come back again, that's absolutely fine. Just pass on it, yeah, and I'll come back. You want to pass on it? Yeah. Very wise. <laughs> okay, that's number four you pass on. Let's go on to number five. And, uh, go on, loads of notes there. You've got four, look. Does your mother know? You think it's does your mother know? I do. Right? Yeah. Jimmy? Mm -hmm. A bit more, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> something that looks almost impossible to me. Right, well, I've worked with that, actually. What, what already? <laughs> what? Just a little number that says five at the top. Yeah. That's actually the only five, four bar they ever wrote, and it's in Chikatita. Right, so could you play that bar for us, Jimmy? <laughs> Beautifully done. <laughs> Lovely. That's all even. Could you play a bit more of the piece, please? Wonderful. Wonderful. 
This bloke is the Mac Daddy of his music. I'm telling you, he knows his notes even without the music. You're serious, Philip. You are serious. There's your medal. Thank you. Do you bet? And I bet. And why won, haven't I? Ladies and gentlemen, our thanks to our resident pianist, Jimmy Nixon. <laughs> and your chief challenger, Philip Hohenstein. to go along with the same vote, but you're all right. Well done, Nomsky. Loads of points, you go to 120. <laughs> Wendy, you go up to 150 now. Ben, you go up to 150 as well. But Vinny, you go up to 203, which currently oh. puts you well into the lead. <laughs> Let's see what our audience says. And of course, 67 of our audience will write 67 more points to add to the other two at the end. That's it for part two. Join us in part three for our final challenge. Will it be there, Waterloo? It's worth waiting for. I'll see you in a minute. Ta-da.